The Independent Review Panel of African Development Bank has cleared Dr. Akin Wumi Adeshino to be inaugurated for a second term in the office as the president of the African Development Bank. Dr. Adeshino was cleared of all allegations against him by the United States of America. The Independent Review Panel was set up by the Bureau of Governors of the Bank following a complaint by the United States to review the process by which two previous organs of the bank, which is the Ethics Committee of the Board and the Bureau of the Board of Governors had previously exonerated additional. In January of 2020, 16 allegations of ethical misconduct were leveled against additional by a group of whistleblowers. The allegations, which were reviewed by the bank's ethics uh, committee of the board of directors in March, were described as frivolous and without merit. Joining us live to take a look at this is Ibn Semenetari, former commissioner for information in River State. Good to have you. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, Amaka. How are you today? I'm very well. Thanks for asking and thanks for being with us this morning. And now, what was the import of the African Development Bank uh, Independent Review Clearance of Akinwumi Additional? Well, first, it's, it's pleasant news and quite frankly, I didn't expect the, it to come out to the contrary. Um, Mr. Additional has exhibited the highest form of ethical conduct and um, not just speaking as a Nigerian, quite frankly, I'm very proud of him. Mm -hmm. Now, when you have somebody as very highly regarded as Mary Robinson, chair of the panel, and still come out uh, saying that this man is smelling like a rose, then the truth is we should beat our chest um, very, very loudly. Mm -hmm. uh, but the, the, the fact is that this has therefore um, given the bank even more freedom uh, and better integrity to seek for more funds. Don't forget that the bank was just in that phase of trying to get shareholders to double the capital to the bank. Mm -hmm. And this was what Mr. Additional was about. And I think that, quite frankly, the U.S. was beginning to lose um, or to get worried about the possibility of new investors coming in. Don't forget that there's a 2018 pro, you know, um, uh, submission before the bank, asking it to open it up to other people, including China. Uh, and I think that right now the bank is really the non, the only... I think about the only development institution uh, that is still having Western money and none of China hmm. uh, globally. I think that's still the only bank that has that kind of import. And this is a situation where, you know, in the beginning, um, Nigeria had kicked against having uh, that Western influence in the bank. Right. So, but, you know, hmm. uh, right now, what, what this means is that the, the African countries have a stronger voice and Nigeria as the largest shareholder really should should, um, you know, in my view, throw its weight mm. around a little bit. I mean, it's, it's interesting the way you've put it there to say that Africans now have a stronger voice. Now, let's go back to the yeah. allegation again. The petition emanated from some anonymous in-house staff of the organization, right? Should this be a signal for, you know, additional to reappraise his style of leadership, you know, if he gets re-elected for the second term? What's your thoughts on that? No, no, no. I, I mean, I... No, 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 no. I think that, that that would be incredulous. I mean, clearly, the gentleman has done nothing wrong. Uh, you've got three review, three panels. Three panels. Look at this guy and clear him. And for God's sake, a panel, I mean, the, the, the last panel had some of the strongest names when it comes to anti-corruption and governance issues. So clearly, there is no governance issue. Mm. Uh, I do not also think it's a leadership style thing. I think that um, this was fueled. And for God's sake, if you ever lead any organization, any organization for at all. You're going to have people um, somewhere who's, who will try to throw the spanner in the works, mm. especially when you're up for re-election. Don't forget that he was about to go for re-election unopposed. So don't forget that. You've got to look at the politics behind what is happening. This is a question, in my view, of the voice of Jacob and the hand of Esau. Uh, basically, that's what was going on here. I do not think that this has anything caused to question at all um, Mr. Additional's administrative style. No, 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 I don't think that's what it's about. Yeah, all right. uh, don't forget that this is a really tiny group of people and the alleged denigerianization of the bank. Meanwhile, the bank has the lowest number of employees. When you pitch it against the fact that Nigeria is the largest shareholder, Mm. All right. Beside the core 54 African countries, the U.S. is one of the 27 non-regional members of the African Development Bank and its second largest uh, shareholder. Now, isn't it high time the institution reviewed also the influence of non-regional members? 
I, and I agree completely with that. I agree completely with that. Don't forget, again, at the institution of the bank, Nigeria's position really was, was not to have uh, this kind of Western influence. That was Nigeria's position. And I think that um, perhaps as a country, especially as a larger shareholder, this is the time for uh, perhaps Nigeria to reappraise happenings and, and as a member of the board and the larger shareholder, begin to call for um, perhaps some more, some more conversation around that. Mm. Again, I said, remember, the bank is trying to look for additional capital. So this is the time, since they're looking for additional equity contribution, this is a time to take another you know, in deciding that equity contribution to, to then ask people to put their money where their mouth is. But yes, I think Africa uh, stands a chance. Now, why I said this gives Africa a greater, stronger chance is the fact that someone was trying to muddy our integrity. Someone was trying to mess with us. At this point, it is clear, it is evident, okay, that we've got this institution. Quite frankly, I would almost say pristine. Hmm. And, and that gives us a lot of, there's this confidence that comes with integrity. Uh, and with that confidence, I'm quite frankly, um, this would be a good time to look at those, those other propositions mm -hmm. of having other people coming into the bank at this time. Right. Indeed, there's this confidence that comes with integrity, as you've said it there. Now, if re-elected, Akinwumi uh, will be confronted with challenges, you would agree, of you know, recovering from COVID-19 impact. What would you advise him as part of the strategy, uh, strategies to rescue Africa, if you like? Now, one of the great things he had been doing was pushing uh, to provide more support um, to, to institutions in Africa um, and, and to deepen the agricultural cent sector. He had been looking at value addition. That was a major, that's a major plank of the conversation the additional has been happening. The fact that we can continue to deal with producing primary crops. We should begin to think of adding value and deepening the sector. I think that if he gets reelected, that's a big push that he needs to be making there. Hmm. I think he should also be looking at matters around um, galvanizing the African countries to take a stronger stance in terms of the governance issues around the back the board. That's really a big thing. And he should look at bringing in more investments. Now, quite frankly, he should get that money wherever he can, in my opinion, as long as it's not from the devil. Um, <laughs> he should go ahead and get money that he needs, uh, to, to, because we need money, we need funding. The, 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 the ADB is going to be one of the institutions that is going to, Africa will leverage on to get out of the kinds of recession it will see. And don't forget that when we'll, agriculture is the next big thing for us. OK, on the continent. It had been a big thing in the time past. We got carried away by oil and by the extractive industries. Now we're going back, realizing that ultimately this is where we are. A continent that cannot feed itself, quite frankly, is in trouble. So the issue of food sustainability, food security is a big deal. And I think that as he rounds up, you know, as he gets into his second genre, that's probably a big thing that additional should be looking at. Yeah, getting more funding, deepening the agricultural, agricultural sector in Africa and enabling Africa to be sustainable in food production. Mm -hmm. I want to say thank you so very much, Ma, for your time and for your deep insight into the conversation. Do keep safe out there. Thank you, Amaka. You stay safe. All right, thank you very much.